Congratulations, guys. You did it. 4,000 likes on the police memorial car. And as promised, we're going to be running down this speed trailer. And we have some surprise motorman guests that are going to be meeting us right here. Hold on. Yeah, I hear them coming. Now that is an entrance. What's going on, man? What's up? Nick, Officer Strong. Hey, nice to meet you. What's up, man? Nick. Officer Jomont. Nice to meet you. Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. So, uh, first of all, say what's up to the Nod Squad. How you doing, Nod Squad? How you doing? How you doing? All right, so I'm assuming by what you wrote in on these steel horses, you guys are motormen. Yes, sir. Davy Police Motorman. I'm a genius. I'm yeah. a genius. So can you uh, run us down real quick before we get to the steel horses? What we got right here. This is our stalker speed trailer. Uh, we typically deploy it in places where we get a lot of speeding complaints. And uh, as you see, we're out in front of a uh, park. Typically a lot of people, children, families out here with their kids on sporting events in the playgrounds, different stuff like that. Uh, these go all over the place. They're very light, mobile, and we can deploy them anywhere. You see it's very small compact mm -hmm. so we could put it in somebody's front yard if they let us all right and so is it just at random where you where you're going to deploy it or is there specific uh, areas where you deploy it uh, specific areas people usually call us and say they have a speeding complaint at a certain place so we'll go and put the trailer out there as kind of like a warning before we go out there so we'll remind you speed limits 45 uh, it'll be out there for a week or two before we go out there and conduct enforcement. You're well aware of what the speed is before we're out there uh, educating you. <laughs> so I noticed that these can be changed, right? You yes. Have, so wherever you deploy it. Yep, this is interchangeable. It could be, we could put whatever number you want in there, whatever the speed limit, all the way from 15 in a school zone to, you know, 45, 50 on our highest uh, um, roadways here in Davie. So, quick question. You got it out here, it's showing the signal. Does that go anywhere? Is that being recorded? Can you guys give a ticket from somebody that goes over from here? No, we can't. This is just strictly education, reminding you what the speed is. It doesn't record it. It can't. We cannot issue a citation from this device. It is strictly to remind you of what the speed is. So as you can see, there's no generator back here. It runs off of solar power. The solar power uh, charges the battery. The battery is uh, used for mainly uh, nighttime operations that way there's no downtime with the trailer in uh, nighttime or rainy days and here also is a little computer which we use to uh, program the speed set the different uh, low speed high speed and then when that little red and blue light flashes on there for you this is our 2018 Harley Davidson Road King uh, with the custom designed uh, tank decal on it was drawn by one of our officers' daughters. It was cleaned up by our decal people and put on our tank. Only the five of us who ride on motors have this decal on there. Completely different than any other the uh, road units out there that have this. I uh, get a lot of uh, looks and pictures from it uh, when we go to different events or different car shows or something like that. And we show it off. It's very popular. So tell me, how much does this bad boy weigh? It weighs about a thousand pounds. A thousand pounds. So you gotta have strong legs. Yes, and very good balance. You guys have to go to school in order to ride one of these? Yes, it's a uh, intensive two week, 80 hour training course. And then we continue to train once a month to keep our skills fresh. It is definitely a perishable skill. The less you ride, the worse it becomes. So obviously other than traffic enforcement, do you guys use these vehicles or these motorcycles in any other way? Uh, yeah, parades, escorts, um, kids love sitting on these, so we should go to a lot of schools. We do a lot of special events where we display them for the children. There's nothing more than these kids love than sitting on the motorcycle, hitting the siren, and taking pictures for their mom and dad. Nice. So, um, are these take home? They are take home. We are able to take them home. Um, depending on the weather, um, we'll decide to take them home. If not, uh, we have cars assigned to us. Yeah, that's what, I was going to ask you that too. If it rains, what happens? If it rains, we do live in Florida. So uh, typically our storms are very fast moving, so we'll find some cover or throw on our rain suit, 
Uh, if it's gonna be something all day, we'll uh, jump in our cars that we have assigned to us. start up forward here. If you look at the front, I've got the battery turned on. We have quite a few different sets of white lights facing forward to try to help let the drivers know we're coming. When we have an emergency or we're making a traffic stop, we also have additional lights like a light bar up here. And a lot of these white lights turn from red to blue. If you come back here, I'll show you how we turn those on. On my right hand here, I've got a red switch. It's a three-way switch. If I push it directly in, I get lights to the entire bike, front and back. That's the horn? That is, that is the siren and the air horn, yes. Okay. Wanna give her a go? Sure, I'll start with just a blast of the air horn. Yeah, this is your siren. This, this is the siren switch here. It's also a three-way switch. I can push it in or I can flip it left or right for the different type of siren. And my air horn is right here. So if we tap it forward, get a little bit of that. So why did you show me what's on the back of the bike? I warned you it was loud. <laughs> so we don't have the standard uh, office room that a, an officer has to do all their work. Most of our work is done back here. Our laptops and uh, everybody hates getting a ticket, but with, this is where the action happens. And I have a thermal printer here that allows us to print it out quickly, just like a receipt at a grocery store. It prints out very fast. So everything's encased inside here. Awesome. In the saddlebags, we carry a lot of different gear towels, our water. We're out here in the, in the sun and the heat, so you're going to see lots of water in different places, as well as our different sunscreen, and uh, just like I'm wearing this to help keep the sun off of me during the day. Uh, got my chamois and towel in here so I can keep it nice and polished. Nice. On the other side, we have a little bit more work gear. This is also where we would keep our, um, some of our speed measurement devices, like a laser. I keep it locked, just like everybody should, because you never know, right? Right. So in here, I've got a jump box in case I have a breakdown. I've got some traffic stuff in case I have to get out into traffic. And I also have a bag we use for emergency response. I have some extra ammunition, tourniquets in it, and first aid equipment. Right here behind the seat, uh, this is where I keep my rain gear. It's a Harley Davidson bag, but it, it keeps everything nice and rain tight. So if I want to take my wallet out of my pocket, I'll put it in here or in the bags. But I keep this specifically for my rain gear. It keeps it dry and it's fast to get to if we get a, a downpour. Awesome. Thank <laughs> you.